What better fitting finale than an all-German final for the 24th edition of the Gary Weber Open? Alexander Zverev and Florian Meyer each upset the odds in their semi-finals with shock wins over Roger Federer and Dominic Thiem. For both players, although at other ends of the age gap, the 2016 final will mark the biggest moment in their careers. I think for the tournament, for the spectators, it's a very nice match to have two Germans in the final. And yeah, I would say he's a little bit the favourite. He's an upcoming star, probably at a top 10 player in the future. So I think I have nothing to lose. You know, obviously Florian has been playing very well uh, this week and obviously two Germans in the final, that didn't happen for a long time. Pretty impressive. The last two years he improved a lot. He picked serve and moving good from the baseline, really big backhand and forehand. So yeah, going to be a really tough match. Obviously there's a little bit of nerves involved and everybody who plays the final. But yeah, I mean, being in the first final of the 500 is special for me and I think, you know, I'm just really happy to be here and hopefully it'll be a great match. Nearly 12,000 fans were packed into the stadion court, all of them eager with anticipation for what promised to be a fascinating final. In the sixth game of the opener, Zverev's serve that had worked so well all week let him down. It's another double fault. However, despite trailing, Zverev had the locals electrified with this audacious shot. He's made it! A touch of genius from Zverev. Maya was the lowest ranked player to reach the Gary Weber Open final since 1999, but he was playing some top class tennis. And in just 24 minutes, Maya sought to take out the opener. Maya's astonishing run of form continues well into the final. It's seven sets out of seven this week now. Into the second set, and Zverev stood firm when facing championship points. That's so close. Both players were ready to challenge the that. Right. Pass that line. The ball was called out. Well, this is massive. Correct call. Cool. Before striking back. This is brilliant from Zverev. A visibly fired up Zverev then took the match the distance. Great drama in Halle. In the sixth game of the decider, Zverev's level seemed to drop. For the second time in the match, there's a lapse from Zverev, and he's broken to love again. After nearly two hours, Meyer had his third championship point of the match, but the youngster had other ideas. He was desperate to reach it, but Zverev is clinical enough. But at the fifth time of asking, it was to be Meyer's day. Mr. Zverev is challenging the call. On the right baseline, the ball was called out. The crowd rises to their feet, but there is a challenge here. They shake hands yeah, though, so as it is confirmed Meyer. out. And Florian Meyer, like a phoenix from the ashes of a two-year injury nightmare, enjoys the sweetest success of his career. The best feeling I would say I had on a tennis court to win an ATP 500. I I wasn't sure I could play tennis uh, six months ago go again, and so I'm just really happy. I was fighting here every match, playing really nice tennis, and uh, it's a really nice feeling now for me. So after seven days of first-rate grass court tennis, which had witnessed some shocks and surprises all week. It was Germany's own Florian Meyer who captured his first title for five years and a maiden ATP 500 title.